closer together as friends by sharing our music tastes. Maybe I'm a big cheese ball, but that's how I feel about it. And I hope you guys feel that way too. This special edition of Mixtape is going to be referred to henceforth as the wink wink nudge nudge mixtape if you know what I'm saying. If you've ever wanted to get your hooks into someone and draw them closer in or have a super long makeout sesh with someone you find super sweet, this is the mixtape for you. So the first song on this wink wink nudge nudge mixtape is going to be presented, co-presented by a special guest, Monsieur Lapin, AKA Vernon. And he's going to be helping me present this because the first song on this tape is our silly song of the day and it's called Let's Pretend We're Bunny Rabbits by The Magnetic Field. Let's pretend we're bunny rabbits. I don't have to pretend I'm already a bunny. It's true, he is. The Magnetic Fields, I've talked about them before on the Beach Mixtape and the Love Song Mixtape. Stephen Merritt writes all of the songs and he sings on this one as well. It's just a totally silly, playful, ironic, funny song about let's pretend we're bunny rabbits. Let's do it all day long. If you know what I mean. Go listen, you guys are going to like this. It's very playful and it's a great way to start out. Sort of a sexy Mickey time mixtape. We can talk about it afterwards if you will go and listen. I like it the most, it's my favorite song. It's his favorite. Okay, go listen. So the next song is by Art and Vanilla and it's called The Sweat Descends. I find that the best way to get rid of sweat is to take a bath. <laughs> This song is very, very sexy. It has a nice traveling rhythm to it. This band was formed by Orenda Fink during a hiatus from her band Azure Ray. Azure Ray is one of my favorite bands, but their music is much more sort of internal, kind of depressing, very slow and personal. And Art in Manila is much more like spirited and arty. And this song is pretty scandalous. I recommend that you go and listen to the part about the tongue and come back and give me notes, okay? Okay. So the next song is by a band called Leap Station. They are a cellist and vocalist duo. They are classically trained, but what they make is synth pop. They make stacks of their own samples and then lay them on top of each other until it creates this wild, sort of classical, sweeping movement of music that will just sweep you off your feet. This song is called Sweeter, and it's pretty sweet. It'll take you away to another world. I promise. Song number four is a tango. Tango de Roxanne from the movie Moulin Rouge. This is a cover of a police song. It's an unconventional cover because it's a reconfiguring of the song. It's a classic tango performed by the cast of Moulin Rouge. And a tango, if you didn't know, it, it was formed in Argentina. It was a street dance that was supposed to reenact the relationship between a woman of the night, scandalous, and her gentleman caller. There's like a fight back and forth. And then in some versions, including in the film, he kills her at the end. It's very, very dramatic. So th that's, that part's not sexy, but th it's a very powerful, crotch-driven, dance-your-face-off song. So the next song, song number five, is probably the sexiest song that I know, which sounds crazy, I know, but it even has heavy breathing at the beginning and the end, and it manages to transcend that to turn into the most potent little ball of lust that you could possibly smash into a song. It's by Depeche Mode. They were super popular in the 80s and also now. Uh, this song is from their 1987 album, Music for the Masses. And they're frequently referred to as the best-selling electronic pop band of all time. It's really good. If you want to seduce someone and bring them back to your lair, this is probably the one to do it with. The next song is called Twice by Little Dragon. Little Dragon is a band from Sweden. The four band members met in high school and formed there. And they're from Gothenburg. Anyone from Sweden tell me how to say that correctly. You guys are always good at helping me with the pronunciation. This song is has like a definite slowed heartbeat that makes you just want to get intimate with someone. It's very soft and contemplative, but because of that heartbeat at the background, it sort of has like a a movement that makes you want to do stuff, do stuff. Oh, and Yukimi, the lead singer, is referred to as Little Dragon because apparently when they get into the recording booth, she gets really um, disgruntled. 
So her nickname is Little Dragon because of that. I thought that was pretty funny, don't you? So the last song on this wink wink nudge nudge mixtape, song number seven, is called Why Don't We Do It In The Road <laughs> by The Beatles. This is a Paul McCartney creation that he wrote after seeing some monkeys have sex in India in the middle of a road and he thought, why can't people just do it like that? So then he went and recorded it in the studio with Ringo without telling the other two, which apparently hurt John Lennon's feelings. And that car's feelings too. Even geniuses have small arguments about stupid things. That's the end of the mixtape, guys. I hope that it led you to have some, some sweet uh, fun times with your partner or imaginary partner, as it, however it may be. And I send you fist kisses. And Eskimo kisses, and butterfly kisses, and elephant kisses. I added a little elephant tongue just for extra sauce in that one. All right, go enjoy your lusty mixtape. I hope you use it well. Don't abuse it. Be nice to your lovers. I will see you in a few days. Bye.